my channel is Natalia from Vintage Gold Design. upcycling and all sort of DIY so if you're first time here please subscribe I would love to inspire you to try things and get creative last week we went snowboarding and I had so much fun as it was my first time over three years of course my legs were killing me a few days after but it was worth it in today's video I'll be sharing accent chairs transformation a brief story behind these chairs, I found them off Kajiji and I probably wouldn't have to tell you that so you don't get jealous but I got them for free and they were on hotel chairs like in fabulous condition, looks like they weren't used much and I had them for almost two years now and I just decided it's a time for them to get a new look. First thing, I gotta remove all trim and the fabric. I won't be replacing the foam as it's in a good condition, but I gotta remove it prior to the painting. After removing the fabric and the foam, you can see there's a lot of staples sticking out, so I gotta remove them as well. I mixed my chalk paint in mango color and I'm using it as a base coat. I added more paint to get a mustard color and I'm using it to apply the second and the third coat. I got the fabric and the new trim at fabric land at the same time when I was shopping for the macrame cord. I will leave the link on how to create a doily macrame wall hanging in the description below in case you haven't watched it yet. I found this fabric at the bargain section. It was like a $4 a meter and I got 2 meters. I'm using old covers that we just removed from the chairs as a pattern to cut a new ones. I'm applying metallic finishing paint by Martha Stewart in gold to highlight some areas. I'm using clear wax by Art Minds to seal the paint. Also, as a highlighter, I'm using metallic luster wax in champagne ice. On the side, I'm also working on this wooden frame that I'm painting. 
I wasn't happy with the original color and it also had many scratches so I took it outside to spray paint. I'll be using 250 staples and pneumatic staple gun. You have to be careful using this gun as it's super powerful and you can easily hurt yourself. I'm pulling the fabric tight and then secure it with the stapler. With the pneumatic staple gun and air compressor, things get done much faster. I will leave the links on my tools that I'm using in the description box below as well. The wall frame is all dried and I'm using metallic paint by Martha Stewart in rose gold. I'm bringing up the uneven areas that look like a small bubbles to highlight them and make them look as the part of the design. I'm gonna continue stapling the second chair. Cutting any excess fabric before adding an upholstery trim. I have measured the length of the old trim to know exactly how many meters I need to buy and yes it was a part of the sale buy one get two meters free so I spent around ten dollars using super tough all-purpose glue to attach the trim around the edges. Voila! Our chairs are ready! Overall, I spent under $30, that's including the paint. Thank you guys for watching! Let me know in the comment section below if you have tried upholstering something and how did it go. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!